With this functions question, if you got it wrong, most likely you made the following error. So what I wanna first do is go through maybe the mistake that some of you might have made if you got this question wrong, and we'll talk about why that's not the way to do it, and in fact, what the better way to do it is. So we have f of x minus one equals two x plus three, and we wanna know what is the value of f of negative three. So perhaps what some of you did is said, oh, well, here's the negative three, so I'm gonna plug that in for x. So f of negative three would be two times negative three plus three, which is negative six plus three, which is negative three. And then you would pick C, and unfortunately that's not the answer. So what's wrong with that method? That would be totally fine as an approach if f of x were defined as two x plus three. But as you can see in the question, f of x minus one is defined as two x plus three. If this were the definition and you wanted to know then what is f of negative three, then you're simply making a substitution x for negative three and you're good to go. But as we see, f of x minus one is defined as two x plus three. So if you're looking for f of negative three, you have to remember that this is not simply just x, it's x minus one. So really what you have to figure out is what is x going to be such that when you plug x in here, you get negative three. And whatever that x is, is the x that you plug into two x plus three. So what is the x? In other words, x minus one's gotta equal negative three. What is x gonna be? Well, it's gonna be negative two. So really what you have here is f of negative two minus one. This is the same thing as f of negative three. And now this is the x value, which you then plug in to your equation. So it's gonna be two times negative two plus three. So this is negative four plus three, which is negative one. And that's choice D. So a little bit of a tricky question, but as always with these function questions, it's all about the input versus the output, knowing what goes into the function, in this case, what's going into the X in order to make this negative three. And then whatever goes in for X, in this case, negative two, it goes into the equation as well. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.